way to start your morning. <laughs> Some minutes of mindfulness. Mm -hmm. I'll go with that. Once you have coffee, of course. The sweet nectar of life that causes sun rays to blossom forth out of your eyes. And the very essence of being to sprout from your very breaths. I like coffee. <clears throat> and I'm drinking it. I'm going to see, I'm going to test this out to see how my body reacts. I might have a really bad, like, lady time at the end of this month. But we're going to see. It's hard because it's good. And the way you make it is, like, bomb. I press all the right buttons on the Breville coffee machine. Yannick has like inspired me to do more mindful minutes in the morning and mindful minutes is just like kind of like meditation thinking about things you're grateful for you know saying a prayer I read a daily bible verse every day to start my day kind of get like a plan in my mind for the day and what I want to accomplish and then I come sit at the table and I write it all out because I love to use a planner to make a checklist for myself so we drink our coffee, we watch Theo in the yard. I, I think it's it's really amazing how different you feel doing some minutes of mindfulness in the morning. Uh, you know, gratitude is a really good protection against things like resentment and uh, bitterness and, you know, things that is human nature to to creep up. So it's, it's really nice to just think, what are all the things that I'm grateful for? Because certainly we can think of the things that are going wrong, but but we got a lot of things that are going right. So it's nice to, to think about that. And then, you know, what else can I do to make things better? And it's helped me a lot. It's helped yeah. me have a certain like vision for the day. I think that really helps in boosting positivity. I have a lot of people ask me like, how do you stay positive? And honestly, gratitude. It's always gonna be bad news. It's always gonna be something negative going on, but you just gotta kind of counteract it with the good biggest change i think of our entire routine is starting really early that's been really helpful that's been helping us to maintain productivity positivity and just get a really good start to our day pro tip for the husbands out there if you want your woman to start the day really nice wake her up with zach winters love my woman that's a good song right there. Oh, look, that's she's already alarm. melting. She's already melting. That's what he had. That's oh. really sweet. Oh. 
Oh. No. Let's get to planning. We're gonna plan out our day and then we're gonna take the ticket out for WA. Okay. Hey, that rhymes. Oh, hey. walk and I wanted to share with you guys Theo's little routine because after his walk every day we give him his treat and we call it a brush of teeth. You want to brush your teeth? You want to brush your teeth? You want to brush your teeth? Yeah? That's his reward for doing good on his walk. After we do our walk, every single time he gets into the house he looks at me with this pensive gaze like you know what you owe me. So, I like to give him the Trader Joe's mint a breath bones. He really likes them. If it's not these, then it's the greenies, but I kind of like these better. They're just only six that comes in a pack, and that's kind of annoying because you have to like constantly go back to get them because he takes one every day. One brush. Okay, sit. Good boy. Can you shake? As you can see, we have no couch. This is our living room. We're waiting for it to come in. I ordered my couch back in May. Bless down, calling you out. No, I think that's just all furniture companies, to be honest with you. I'm gonna set up to do my little stretch this morning inside because we saw some construction stuff outside. I forgot to mention, um, while I do my stretch, Yannick is gonna go for his run. He likes to do a run in the morning. You need a stretch, babe. Your hip flexors need to be flexible so you don't have to have hip surgery when you get old. You hear me? ready for the day um, we've kind of done pretty much majority of our morning routine but I kind of include getting ready as like the morning routine because you gotta get ready before I do that I forgot that I haven't shown you guys the update on the bedroom because the last vlog we did we were missing a couple pieces so I'm gonna show you the progress of our bedroom really quick so in the last vlog we um, didn't have a chair so we got a chair um, we got this chair from Target. I'm kind of like, I'm trying to figure out if I like it there. Problem is that this space is so tiny, so we need a small chair. So it's kind of hard to find. Um, this wasn't my first choice, but it was kind of like just there. It was only like a hundred bucks at Target. I'm still getting used to it in this space. I think it it looks good. Part of me says there needs to be something different there, so I'm. I'm getting used to that. We got the bigger mirrors. They're not gold, they're black framed and they're a lot larger, which I'm really happy about. And I think it really helps make the space look really good. I'm really happy with how those turned out. I got these mirrors from Wayfair. It was a really good find. I really, really like them. And then over on the TV area, we are going to put that TV up. We're gonna hang it up. We just haven't had the time to do it. Um, and then I'm gonna also put some additional decor on the dresser itself because I feel like that's what's needed. We got this basket, this woven basket. This is where I put my decorative pillows in when we were getting in bed. Kind of just like a nice hamper for blankets and everything like that. And I thought it looked really good with this space. I got that from World Market. Heads up, if you're looking for baskets, World Market is like, they're hoarding all the baskets. They have all the baskets there. They had like several different sizes, several different styles, but woven baskets are their things. So go to World Market. Another World Market find was this 
cute um, tray. Kind of nice to have like popcorn and some drinks like on a tray. And I thought it was just really cute. I love the wood detail. I want this style, this wood stain, to be that chair. And I think that that would be much better in the room instead of this lighter yellow wood. I'm just throwing that out there. Let me know what you think. Maybe I could stain it eventually because if you look closely, it looks very similar to that wood. And maybe if I stain it, it would look like really cool. I don't know. What do you think? Would that color look good in there? Let me know. These lamps are new. I got it from Target. They weren't exactly what I was going for. Uh, I wanted something different, but honestly what I was looking for seemed to be impossible to find. So I settled for these and I really like them. I think they look really well with the space um, and the style of the dresser. Also have Yannick's favorite piece of the room, this fake olive leaf tree. Uh, I got this from Target and it was just such a great find. I really feel like Target does well on their artificial plants, but it looks so nice, I feel like, in the space. This room has totally transformed and come together so nice. I've started in my office and we have our guest room all set up, but it's still not quite where we want it. So I'm not gonna show you guys that yet, but I will soon. That was just an update I thought I'd give you because the last vlog, I showed it, so that's what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting dressed. I gotta do my hair, I gotta straighten my hair. Uh, don't hate me, I love my curly hair. Don't get me wrong, don't come for me. I love my curly hair, but sometimes I'm just in a straight vibe. Like I want straight hair and I don't wanna deal with it. Since the move, since all these like things, adjusting and everything going on, I just don't have the time to fuss with my curly hair. So it's so much easier for me to just have it straight. Um, in preparation, because I knew I was gonna straighten it, I just washed it, I conditioned it, and I let it air dry. So right now it has absolutely no product in it. I brushed it out yesterday before it dried. This is what it looks like. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it. Let's snap. All done. Why does my face look so white and pale? Really happy I got to do that. It's not my best, most thorough work, but it does the job. And with the curls in it, it did not even take that much heat. I literally just like straightened pretty much the root and then curled the ends and here we are. We have relocated to the office with Yannick. Hello. He's working and I'm gonna do this makeup. I love this window, it's a big window right here so that's why I thought it was gonna be perfect to like do makeup. <laughs> Yannick wants to do a haul with me, a clothing haul. When we got these matching loungewear sets, Yannick was like, we should do a haul. And I was like, what? Um, I think we're gonna get dressed in our first outfit and then show you guys and let you know where it's from and do what people do in hauls, I guess. <laughs> matching set number one. These sets are from Gilly Hicks or Jilly Hicks. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the Hollister um, loungewear, sleepwear, it's intimates. It's Australian, so it's jo jo Jorley Hicks. Is it? It's Australian? It's Jorley Hicks, eh? Babe, it's not Australian. Is that even Australian accent? No. We don't know where it's from, but I will link it all below for you. You must have these. Must have the matching. Yeah, because they're so soft. Like, they're so oh, ridiculously gosh. soft. The fabric, if you can see zoomed in, it's like a waffle texture and it's really really pretty super comfy the ladies you have like a little crop top and then some fitted joggers hey the men's you got the shorts Hollister's coming back up again so get your sleepwear also too the set that i wore um earlier when i did my workout is also from chili hicks fit number two two we're back into what we were wearing early this morning, so you probably saw it. But yes, this is from Julie Hicks too. And... Again, super soft. She's so soft. The ladies, you have a little bit more of a longer crop, and then, again, 
Some joggers. The pants. And for the men, the shorts and the t-shirt. I just really like how this feels on me. Same. Yeah. Like, I just feel like super comfortable like in this one and cozy. And I think the waffle is a little bit warmer. Um, so it'll probably be better for... Yeah, once it gets a little cooler. Love it! Fit, Fit number, number three. three. So it's the same as the orange set. Just this one is gray. And same thing is going on. Same, same, same. I think this is a really like modern and useful take on um, matching pajama sets. We're not sponsored at all. Like we just found it at the mall and we really liked it. So I'm kind of a sucker for matching pajama sets. Like it's he's a of, sucker for matching everything. It's kind of my thing. I'm he like, loves matching. I, I want to have like matching stuff with Bree so that we're that like disgusting couple. Like, we just need something for Theo to match. So I think that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed our little morning routine together. It's been an honor and a pleasure sharing this with you, whoever you may be. If you guys like this video and you want to see more videos like this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Hey, and turn on the bell notification. Until next time. Goodbye.